Hello, my name is Celia Stowe. You probably know me as the creator of games like The Eighth Gate and Rise of the Zodiac, Million Sellers. But if you're watching this tape, you are in possession of my latest prototype, Citra Acra. And there's a good chance I'm not exactly among the living anymore. That is a glimpse into Citra Acra, an all-new horror experience about a lost video game that reappears 40 years after it and the person that made it vanished without a trace. Now I'm calling this an experience because not only is there a movie, but the cursed game at the center of it is a very real thing that you can play. Unless, of course, it plays you. I'm Levi, the writer and director of Citra Acra, and I've worked in games for over 20 years, but have loved them my entire life. I love the storytelling in games, and I have a special reverence for the games of the late 70s through the 80s because they accomplished so much with so little. Inviting your imagination to fill that space between story and technology. But my second love is film, and after working on movies such as my award-winning horror comedy We Said Forever, I'm excited to dive into a feature that combines both of my worlds. So Citra Acra tells the story of Andrew Goldstein, a retro game collector and podcaster whose life goes sideways when he finds this mysterious Commodore 64 game. Now as Andrew's friends and co-hosts Natasha and Simone investigate the occult origins of Citra Acra, Andrew becomes obsessed with beating the game. But they will all soon learn that Citra Acra refuses to give up its secrets without a fight. I think horror is at its best when it's about something. Take The Shining, whose horror springs from a dysfunctional family torn apart by addiction. Now, Citra Acra peers into the dark nature of nostalgia, the paralysis of always looking back. But there will be scares, dread at the edge of the frame, especially as Citra Acra increases its hold on Andrew and then bleeds over into our world. And we've developed an innovative visual language to depict that bleed. We're combining rotoscoping, which can look so wonderfully eerie when rendered like an old video game, with projection technology. We're not gonna just watch Andrew play the game. We're gonna depict the high stakes cosmic tug of war between Andrew and Citra Acra. Having an actual game is so important in the making of this movie, not just because it's essentially a character, but because it's a fun way to connect the audience directly to Andrew's descent. The Citra Acra game is being developed by the incredible Brandon Rodriguez of Salt and Pixel. It's been amazing to watch him bring it to life, nailing the Commodore 64 aesthetic while conjuring up something really sinister and strange. I can't wait for you to play it, which you will because it's a reward for backing this campaign. We have assembled an amazing group of people so far to make Citra Acra. Andrew is played by Darius Pierce, who you can see opposite of Nicolas Cage in the acclaimed Pig. And he's joined by phenomenal Portland actors such as Angela Chandra and Cecily Overman. Oh, and Nathan Barnett, who you know from, well, <laughs> the internet. Our director of photography, our makeup artist and creature designer, our VFX artist. The score, it's from UK hauntology outfit Moon Wiring Club. I'm humbled that these folks are on this ride. And I'm fortunate that like a Katamari, the more Citra Acra rolls along, the more incredible people come on board. And hopefully, that includes you. With your help, we're gonna make something frightening, something fun, something creepy, something cool. So thank you for watching, thank you for backing, thank you for sharing this campaign with your friends and family. I can't wait for you to experience the strange horror of Citra Acra. But remember... Once the door is opened, it can be quite a game to close it again.